going to look at the fact that metals can also burn, which is kind of fun. Okay, picture a periodic table. Where's iron? It's a heart. A little iron. It's in the middle of the periodic table, basically in the planes where nothing changes for a long transition through the middle. Everything's nice and stable right in the middle. A little too stable sometimes, right there, Kansas City, iron. Okay, so iron should be a fairly unreactive little metal, all right? Well, let's get some iron out. That belongs there. Okay, so um, I'm going to use this guy because it's a little less of a problem with the big tank, this little propane. Light a burner. Turn it down just a wee bit, wee bit. Okay, now why, why do we have such a bright yellow flame on this guy? Because it's propane, not methane. It's bigger, takes more oxygen to feed it. Okay, so if we can dim the lights just a wee bit here. Bring the lights down a little bit. There's a nice breeze in here. Sending the flames directly this direction. That's lovely. Okay, in the summer of 1999, I was lucky enough to be able to go to a fireworks camp. That's right, fireworks school for a pyromaniac. That was awesome. Very good thing I went. I learned a lot of stuff. I probably have kept both arms and most of an eye because of that. Um, okay, now what I got, I've got some metals up here. Um, I had intended to bring five. I brought three today. Um, I didn't bring the aluminum, didn't bring the zinc because I didn't think it was going to work quite like I wanted to do today up here for the demonstration. So I got a little bit of iron here. And if we can dim the lights down, we might have a little bit of mood music for this. And take out even more at the front of the room. Okay. All right. So we're going to sprinkle just a little bit of iron in this flame. Oh, that's nice. Pretty. Pretty. So little powdered bits of metal. Oh, that's so lovely. I learned at pyro school that if you have different mixtures of iron with a little carbon in it, it's real nice and sparkly and you get this nice sparkle look to it. So there's some powdered iron. I also learned in pyro school that the kind of metal that's used in sparklers, if you have golden sparklers, you get to use iron. And that sparks nicely. It's got a little bit of extra carbon in it. But if you want something brighter, you go for some titanium. Here's some titanium. Ah, way cooler. Oh, more, 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 more. OK. So little powdered titanium. So I got to wondering why, oh my god, that's so cool. Why, oh, cool, yes. OK, hours you can spend in your classroom doing this. Then when you show it to your kids, I now have to hide these. Because they're like, I just, I'm having a bad day. Oh, that's helping. I'm like, you think I'm kidding. They come in my room, they're like, can I have some of this? I'm having a bad day. Yes, OK, you can. So I got to wondering, why? Why does the titanium do that? Well, it branches for a lot of different reasons that not a lot of people, metallurgists know, but they don't really tell the fireworks people, OK? So, but the better thing is, is where is titanium on the periodic table? Picture, picture, iron. We got to go this way, right? more towards the edges, should be more reactive. So I got to thinking, you know, I think that's because it's more reactive. So if you look at an electron voltage, standard electron voltage potential table, sure enough, much more reactive. The reason it's so much brighter is because it's reacting with oxygen. Awesome, faster. So now not as it just cool fireworks. Oh, I'm having a bad day. Oh, that's so much better. Now you're like, why? Why is it white? Well, because it's reacting so much faster. All right, periodic table. Iron, titanium, magnesium. OK, now here's where you got to be careful. Don't ever use powdered magnesium. You've got to use 20 to 30 mesh. So I got 20 to 30 mesh. Oh, no. See, look at me being all careful. Oh. Oh, perfect timing. Why? 
Why is it so much faster? Incredibly a lot faster. Because? Much more reactive. Much more reactive. And in your handout, you've got an electron voltage table in there. And by golly, if you go either direction, periodic table, if you go the same direction from titanium, go the other way with zinc, if you get the right gauge of zinc in there, you'll get the same color. It will not branch quite like titanium, but you get the same color as titanium in terms of the brightness and how fast it goes with the zinc, which is cool. It has a little green tint to it, but pretty much the same. If you keep going, if you, and if you find the right aluminum, the aluminum will look very similar to magnesium. Not quite, but aluminum's really reactive. The problem is it's hard to find aluminum that doesn't have oxide already on the outside because it's so reactive. 